We are here with Hague Holtslag on the water couch in the Peace Palace in The Hague. Henk, welcome. Um, so Mark told me you sent a very interesting email around yesterday. What is this all about? Uh, the email was about the World Water Day and the challenge of the people that still do not have access to a safe water source. Um, I recently was in Nicaragua and it's a remarkable development there with a low-cost hand pump that was introduced some 20, 23 years ago. There is a huge coverage of rural water supply now. So um, I, I thought this could be an example for other countries how to make a sustainable water supply and how to make it more cost-effective. What was the reason behind the success uh, in Nicaragua? Um, I think one reason was that the government accepted the pump. In this case it's a rope pump, it's a locally produced pump. And the government accepted it as a national standard. So that it was a very major point for NGOs to accept it also. And then the next reason probably is, is the low cost. It's a very low cost, a hundred dollar pump. And it's a simple pump, so it's easy to produce locally. It's also easy to repair. So it's not so much the quality that's good, it's much more what we call the repairability that's high. And what did it take to convince the government to, <coughs> to accept this kind of technology? Um, 3,000 pumps that were installed uh, at rich farmers. Rich farmers bought the rope up initially, 3,000 pumps. And then when the government and NGO saw that this was a low-cost pump that could also serve as a water supply for rural water supply, they became convinced it would be a good option. And are these uh, pumps used for communal purposes or are, are these uh, household-based um, um, water supply? Both. Um, some 10 to 20 percent is used for communal pumps, anything between 10 and 20 families. But the rest is private, so people use it as a household pump, they have it in the garden. Um, what will be your main message to the people uh, that are around here gathered in the Peace Palace in The Hague? Um, two things. One is a much bigger focus on self-supply, so improving existing hand dug wells all over the world is millions maybe three to eight million hand dug wells in the world. If we improve those, we have an MDG water point, we have a cover and a hand pump. And secondly, um, focus on, on, on the cell supply, family pumps. So locally produced technology, not instead of other technology, but as a first step technology to start with. Thank you very much, Hank, for your contributions to the water couch. Hope to see you soon again. Thank you.